Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back. It has been quite a minute since I last made a video uh, portfolio update, but here I'm going to try to get into it. Um, I've just been super busy with other things in my life and pretty much put investing on the back burner and did very little in the last few months, but now I'm, uh, I have a little bit more time right now, so I'm going to try to get back into the videos as we go. I actually went like weeks or even probably months without really checking the portfolio and then came in and I noticed it was down so far, down 13%. It's quite disturbing to see it uh, like a loss of over $10,000. Uh, that's not great, um, but that's just how it is. I don't plan to sell anything at the moment. But uh, I think now that I have time, I should just continue making the videos and uh, see how I process this. Because I think the point of these videos is for you guys just to follow along another investor and see what they do. Um, keep in mind, I'm not a professional at all. I'm a random person on YouTube. Um, and so, yeah, I'm just going to keep going with the videos and you can kind of see what I do, how I react. And I don't recommend copying me at all because probably a professional would have done better than this at this moment. All right. So anyways, getting into it. Uh, we're sitting at an account balance of $71,477. There's about $1,500 in cash in there. Uh, I did spend about oh, two or $300 of that today. I'm not spending all of it right now. I'm just going to kind of slowly uh, put it out in the next few days or weeks, I think. Um, but yeah, we're looking at uh, since the lifetime, since inception, I've received $7,700. Not bad, but still the overall account is down. So you factor that in, like add that plus all the net deposits I've ever done. And I still only have that. So interesting to see. Um, but we'll get into the individual positions and portfolio of, uh, and everything like that. Uh, right now, uh, before I add the new stocks or record the new buys of the stocks that I bought today, you can see that my annual dividend income is about $3,731 per year. This is actually lower than it was a few months ago because some of the companies have cut their dividends, um, which I didn't expect as a new investor. I thought dividends just went up the whole time, although always, <laughs> but it turns out you should maybe pay attention and know to which companies you're buying, uh, whether they're like dividend aristocrats or just a whole bunch of sketchy REITs. So <laughs> I kind of got into the REITs a little bit, but that's that's it. Um, anyways, so when we look in the portfolio, I've got it sorted right now. Let's just double check that is up to date. There we go. So my biggest winners at the top and my biggest losers at the bottom. Crazy to see. Um, of course, yeah, I wish I had just put everything into ATD. That would have been nice. Um, up 60% on that position. That's awesome. Uh, pizza Pizza is hanging in there. Waste Connections hanging in there. Some good companies up in here. Uh, and then a whole bunch of ones that are pretty much down the toilet. So what to do in a situation like this? I don't really know. Like you can see, I'm, in, I'm relatively new. I started in September 2020, like a lot of people did. So I'm just kind of riding this and seeing what happens. I'm going to take my dividends as I go, and I'm going to try to buy some more. I will consider cutting some of these and just selling them at a loss at this point. I've been looking at some of these that are just so far down and wondering like at what point is it worth it to just keep Cineplex, for example, that's just been down for a long time, or just sell it and try to shift it into something that's maybe going to go up more in the future, like ATT. I don't know. Uh, now with my newfound time that I have, I'm going to think a little bit more about that and do a little bit more research. And uh, I might end up doing some moves like that, but I really don't want to sell at a loss. Um, that one might be an outlier because it's not even a dividend stock anyways. It's just there. Unfortunately, it's not down that much in terms of uh, some kind of comparison to other stocks. So anywho, um, when I was in here today looking to buy some stocks, I was pretty much taking out Bank of Montreal. Um, they are, have a really strong record of dividend payments and growth, and it's just a solid bank to have. Um, and being down 10% and one of my smallest positions, I thought that's actually a good time to go in a little bit more on Bank of Montreal. And then also here, Northland Power is a company that I've been wanting to add a little bit more to as well. So in Wealthsimple, we can take a look here and jump into my portfolio, not my portfolio, uh, my activity tab. And we can see here that I bought two shares of BMO. Uh, for 106.57 and I bought three shares of NPI. So for BMO, just brought that up to a total of 16 and uh, Northland Power, I rounded that out to 100 shares that I own. Um, so let's actually drop into the transactions tab and I'm going to record the transaction that I did. Um, so let's just drop this in. So I had TSE BMO and TSE NPI. 
I bought them on October 23rd, 2023, and it was two and three, and the BMO shares I paid 106.57, and these guys I paid 20.63. I didn't pay trading fees or anything like that. It was in Canadian dollars, so I'm just going to copy that down. All right, when I look at the totals that ought to sum up automatically, those look correct as to what I saw in Simple. So I want to come back into the summary tab and take a look here. And a few things have changed a little bit. Um, but mostly what I would look for now is the annual dividend income. Now it's sitting at $3,747. And before it was sitting at 3731 So that's an increase of around $16 per year, I think. So not bad. That is just more cash flow that's going to be coming in. And I am continuously trying to build that up as we go. Although uh, this is almost uh, not that spectacular if the entire account is down because I had I just not put in the money and then it wouldn't be down. But I'm thinking long term here and uh, that uh, hopefully the, at some point things will level out and I can still use this. I'm always reinvesting this as we go and that's nice to have. Uh, something else I can check out in the portfolio on each of the individual positions. So let's highlight BMO here. So I reduced my average price just now by buying these two shares. So before it was actually sitting at 118.54, which you'd see if you went back in the video. And uh, I was seeing a minus 10.52% loss on that. And by buying some more in at the discounted price or the lower price, I've actually lowered that as well to minus 9.38%. So that's one way to kind of lower these uh, on a per position basis. And then also down here, NPI. Um, previously, my average cost was uh, 36.78. And now just by adding the three shares, it's down to 36.30. So a slight decrease in the average price across the entire position. And I brought it down from a 44.57% loss to a 43.83. So chipping away uh, at the average cost of these and basically buying that same dividend for much, much less than, uh, than I did before. And hopefully they're able to maintain something with NPI that I would like is uh, dividends. Let's check in here. I'm, I like it if I can get all of my payments over ten dollars uh per payment just i don't know I, it's something i'm i like to have uh and actually that should push it over on the, the next cycle that i get that includes those shares that i bought that uh that should pop up to ten dollars per payment from that position and uh, that'll be nice to see so anyways guys um not all great news um, but i'm sure a lot of people are in the same position right now unless you were smart and just went all in on atd back in the day um but anyways i should be able to put out some more updates as we go and uh, might be able to talk a little bit about what's going on in my portfolio and these kind of uh, rough times in the stock market and uh, hopefully i get back some of that money at some point all right guys thank you very much for watching and if you're interested in using the spreadsheet there's a link in the description below where you can get it so check that out and i will see you guys in the next video